everybody I wanted to come to you today with a diamond painting um, review on a diamond painting that I have finished it is from um, Diamond Art Club and you'll see in the title what it is and a picture of it anyways but um, the one that I finished was Satara I think that's how you say it S-I-T-A-R-A um, this is a 24 by 16 inch or 61 by 41 centimeter diamond painting. It has a ton of purples in it. It has, um, the schematic up here has 19 colors on it. Actually, there's 20 colors in this one because I changed something out. Uh, there was a feature that I did not like and I was like, well, if Miss Coffee and Stitch Roots in them, can do it well I'm gonna try to figure it out so I did and I think for me it worked out I don't know you all let me know when I tell you what it is that I changed out um, some of you may already see it if you've worked on this but um, yeah on this one there was not a lot of trash on it um, I had very little trash I'm starting to walk work on the off to the ball, the one with Cinderella. It's a square. I have more trash from a 6x6 six six square of it already than I had in this entire um, canvas. I didn't run out of any colors on it. Um, it. It was just beautiful. I don't know if you can see the the shine on it but it is sitting here. I can see it and it is just sparkling and it's just amazing. And I think it used just about every color of purple, except for maybe like 155 or one that was down in the lower end. I saw that color the other day and I'm like, that wasn't in that painting. But it has a ton of them in there and it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one has two ABs. It's supposed to have two ABs. It actually ended up with three ABs. Uh, the white right in here and then the perp, the light purple right in here and all over the place um, is in there. The part that I did change up on this one, there was a feature that when I saw the sticker, um, I thought it was going to be okay. And then when I started diamond, paint, diamond painting it, it was um, too dark and it lost a feature. So what I actually did was um, in the paper, it shows this part right up here. This light blue is the right one that they had. I changed it out with AB Diamonds um, from Diamond Dots in their little canisters that you can buy. On the paper that you, the little sticker that you get, it has a purple line up there like it's a shadow or something. I get that. But when um, I started diamond painting it, I think it was number, what number was it? I think it might have been 334. Four. that was it there's two baby blues yeah it was a 334 that was up here and it was more this color right here you can see how dark that is so the bottom of the eye is this smaller color and then the part that was supposed to be the shadow is that darker blue so that gives you an idea so you can see that even in this part it's trying to blend into the black so when the I put that around the pupil it was right here so we, even with the pupil and I stood back I could even see it when I was sitting very close to it I backed up about seven or eight feet and I could not see the pupil in the um, eyes and I was like, that's not going to work. And also, I just now remembered this. They had two different colors for the white and the pupil up there. Um, I'm talking about the eyes for where I changed it. The pupil, there was two different colors. I changed them to the white um, AB. So I changed that too. I just now remembered that. So um, I pulled out this the dark blue on one of the eyes. And I changed it over to this lighter 
um, lighter blue AB. I was trying to find a lighter color and I happened to see those sitting there so I grabbed them. I put them in one eye and stood back again and I happened to like it a lot better so I went ahead and changed the other eye as well. So I kind of reworked the entire, not the entire eye, but um, the top part of it and the pupils on there. I did um, rework those. But that was the only thing that, for me, it drove me nuts because I couldn't see the pupil and it kind of messed the eyes up for me. So that's why I changed it. Everybody else may have a different view on that, but you can see how dark that blue was up there that's in the sky. So it you can see how dark it would be. It would kind of, you would kind of lose that people. And I was in a sunny room. The light was on. I don't know why I had the light on with the sunny room, but all right, that's me. So, um, I did change that. Other than that, I mean, and that wasn't even a problem. It was just something that I personally didn't like. So I was like, let me try this out. I've seen, you know, Miss Coffee and Citrista. Um, change different things out and I was like well here's your chance to change something out and I don't know why I did it on something that would be so obvious but that's me it's all or none with me so um, I personally like it let me know if you all like the way that it turned out with the eyes um, I absolutely love this one it was so awesome with all that purple in there I love purple so I do want to get a frame and frame this one. I do also want to frame the off to the ball one. That sucker's huge. Um, like Miss Coffee said, it's going to be a curtain. So um, I don't know how I'm going to frame that one because it's a 27 and a half by 34 and a half image. So I can't find a frame that big. So it's going to have to be custom. And I don't know how much that's going to cost. So we'll find out on that one. But I just wanted to let you know on my um, review what I thought of this. This was an amazing thing to do. This is what it looks like when it is finished. It is absolutely gorgeous. It sparkles. Um, I just love it so much. So... Um, yeah, let me know if you finished this one, if you're working on this one. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you changed the eyes out. I would love to know that as well. Um, if you thought they were too dark with the other type of, other color of blue there, I would love to know that as well. Um, and when I get done with the off to the ball one, I will do a review on that one as well. But I just wanted to let you know what this one looked like because I always love to see what they look like when they are finished. So, this is the finished product of Satara, my style, with the changes in the eyes. But So, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.